Next up is one of the two premier events this regatta, the Jessup Whittier Cup final. Three minutes. This is the blue ribboned event for women's eights, women's varsity crews at this regatta. All six crews are sitting in position for event number 73, the Women's Collegiate Varsity Invitation Grand Final. Lane one, Stanford University. Lane two, University of Southern California. Lane three, University of Washington. Lane four, California. Lane five, University of Wisconsin. Lane six, Washington State University. Two minutes. Two minutes until the start of this race. Looking down the course, conditions still very fair for all six lanes. sculling going on by some of the <coughs> boats keeping their bows pointed towards the shore side of the course. There is a whisper of that westerly as the wind clocks in that direction. Liner's flag is up. A lot of very high heart rates in these shells as they ready get ready to explode off the blocks. Racing for that top spot on the podium. We're getting close. Stanford, USC. Crews being pulled now. Washington, California, Wisconsin, Washington State. Here we go. Attention, go. And the start of event number 73, the Women's Collegiate Varsity Invitational Grand Final. Clean releases by all crews as they punch past the 100 meter mark. Early leader in lane two, University of Southern California. Slight advantage over Stanford University. Third spot right now in lane four, California. Fourth spot, Washington. Fifth, Wisconsin. Sixth, Washington State. Crew shifting down now, establishing that rhythm. Making sure that all that effort of legs, body, and arms propels that boat forward. Very tight race now, lane one, lane two, Stanford, USC with Cal only sitting four seats back. In the fourth position, the Huskies from University of Washington. They've got a good battle with Wisconsin and Washington State is in your sixth position. So here we are at 500 meters, your leader, Stanford University in lane one, followed by USC, then California, then Washington, Wisconsin in lane five, and in sixth spot, Washington State University. 
on the water with the premier women's event for our San Diego Crew Classic. This is the Women's Collegiate Varsity Invitational Grand Final. They're battling it out for the Jessup Whittier Cup. Lane assignment, Stanford in lane number one, battling with the University of Southern California, USC in lane two. Also in the hunt, Washington out of lane three, Cal is in lane four, Wisconsin in lane five, and Washington State University in lane six, and they are off to a very brisk and bow-to-bow -bow battle right now between USC, Stanford, and Cal. Yes, USC took the early lead, Stanford battled back. Uh, Cal were trailing a little bit off the start, but I believe they may even have taken the lead right now in coming through those other crews. Based on heat times from yesterday, uh, USC are the form crew coming into this event. They did a time four seconds faster than their competitors, and uh, they certainly showed that when they came off the start. The question is, what do they have in the second half of the race? Washington and Cal battling nose to nose here. They are fighting it out with USC and Stanford. Top women event at the 2011 San Diego Crew Classic. We appear, Alan, to have uh, three crews really locked together in this race. Stanford in one, University of Southern California in two, and Cal in four, with Washington slightly off the pace and Wisconsin and Washington State uh, locked in their own duel on the far side. Reflected in the tense faces of the crews of Southern Cal, Washington and Cal, an interesting contrast in the smiling, rather relaxed look of the Stanford University crew. We'll see which helps them out the most here, being loose, being game-faced and tight and ready to go. On the outside, it is Cal, Southern Cal, and Stanford along the shoreline. The Stanford Cardinal. This is still very, very tight between USC in lane two, Stanford in lane one, and, the, and Cal in lane four. USC and Cal fighting it out at the front of the pack with Stanford falling off just a little bit. And then outside we go to Washington moving back and Wisconsin and Washington State. But we've seen several comeback runs in our competition here at the Crew Classic. And so too early to count anybody out. USC in lane number two, fighting it out with Cal on the outside. Stanford Early stroke for stroke, checking in at that third position. Outside, Wisconsin and Washington State. In lane three, University of Washington fading a bit. Yes, the story of the race so far was that USC took a lead in the first 500. They relinquished it first to Stanford and then to Cal in the second 500. The USC seemed to have consolidated and had a very good third 500 and might even have edged ahead of both Stanford and Cal as we come down to the line. USC in lane number two on the lead. Cal on the outside challenging. And now Stanford has picked up the stroke along the shoreline and will try to get back in it. On the outside, it is Wisconsin, Washington State, and the University of Washington trailing. This is USC. USC on the lead. Stanford closing. Cal closing. SC on the lead. Here comes Stanford along the shoreline. Outside, Cal is trying to battle back. Stanford edging into that second position. Cal dropping back to third, but they cannot catch USC, at least at this moment. It is the University of Southern California for the Women's Collegiate Varsity Invitational Grand Final, the Jessup Whittier Cup on the lead. It is the University of Southern California, USC, picks up the victory, apparently, and unofficially Stanford will glide into second spot as they started a little too late on their charge, and then California on the outside, then comes Wisconsin sneaking up into fourth place, followed by the outside Washington State and uh, the University of Washington. 
Yes, that was uh, a very good tactical battle. We saw the University of Southern California take a lead in the first 500. We saw Stanford and Cal move back on them and go past them in the second 500. But USC did not panic. They knew that they were going to make their move in the third 500, and that's exactly what they did. Next up, we will have the Men's Collegiate Varsity Invitational Grand Final, the Copley Cup. Congratulations, USC. Uh, Coxon, how did you feel when uh, uh, Stanford and the and Cal started to come back on you in the second 500? And what was your plan for the third 500? Our plan was to go all out. We were confident, ready for that third 500. So, what, were you, what was your call to the athletes during the second 500 when it looked like you were coming under a little bit of pressure? What's the question? What was what was your call to the athletes? When you, were, when you were coming under a little bit of pressure in the second 500? Oh, just, just keep it together. And know when we push, I won't tell you when we push, but when we do our move, it's going to be a big move. It's going to help us win. And when you called out in the third 500, what response did you get from your crew? Complete response, complete commitment. Thank you. Yeah, no mind. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Sports Row Servants back. Nice. Next up, the Premier Men's event at this regatta, the Copley Cup Grand Final.